Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to play with some speech bubbles in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Today, we're going to play with one of my favorite graphics in Doodly, speech bubbles. Speech bubbles are a great way to add emphasis and create a more engaging video. They can be used to convey information, have a, a nice little motivational quote, put a title like I did here, or to tell a story. Of course, you've probably already used speech bubbles before, so today we're going to go a little bit deeper with some different use cases and some special effects. The first thing I'm going to suggest is that you import some of your own speech bubbles. Yes, Doodly does have some built in, and look we'll over here to props and type in speech bubbles. Now, of course, some of these I did um, import, but I believe these here, speech bubble, these are built in. This I imported, this I imported. This is with Enterprise. This one is also available in Doodly, as is the Thought Bubble. And of course, you have a couple more Enterprises. While these are a good start, like I say, you might want to import some of your own. For example, I just did a quick search on FreePick for Speech Bubble and look at all the different options that you have. There's just a ton of them. And of course, you could use Pixabay as well or any of those sites. I went ahead and I downloaded this graphic and this graphic. Now, most of these come bundled together in one large graphic, so you will need to do some slicing and dicing in an editing program to get the individual images. To import them, you go to Props, click the little blue plus sign, and then you just browse for your files or drag and drop them. All of these here, I'm gonna select them all at once and then drag and drop them in. So you'll see I'm adding quite a few different ones. And that just gives me options. Okay, so they are now all imported. So we have lots of options to play with. This particular one that you're looking at here is Retro Speech Bubble number four. And it's got these little dots. And then this orange is actually the background. So if I go into settings here, you'll see I've set the background to orange. Let's go back to regular. And now it's just white on white, okay? And let's start from scratch. Now, one of the things that you can do, let's say we're doing a motivational quote and we want it in the little speech bubble, okay? One thing that we can do is go into settings, click on background style, the little gear icon. Again, if you wanted to change the color like I showed you earlier, you would just click here to get a custom color. Today, we're gonna do a custom image. And we want to browse for the file. And I want speech bubble number four. So this is on my computer. And now, size it so it takes up most of my canvas here. Fills it, and I like that. And here it is. Now, I'm not gonna be able to move it. It's solid, this is my background image. But what I can do is every time I add a new scene, I get the same image and it doesn't move. So let's say we have three lines of text that we want. So we have three scenes. So let's make sure we're in the first scene and let's add our text. And then now I'm on my second scene and I'm gonna add something else. And then over here on my third scene, so now if we were to preview the video, pay attention to the speech bubble. It stays in place and the text just swipes away. And that's a really cool effect that you could do. What I'll sometimes do is down here, I'll add the name of the person. So let's just say at the very end, you wanna add who the speaker is. So that's a fun effect. Okay, so here's another fun effect that we could try. Let's go over to props and we'll come back to speech in a moment, but let's say phone. Let's take this smartphone. And since it's vertical, let's go into settings and let's make this a vertical video. 
go to custom, unclick the little um, lock. There we go, unlock it. So we're gonna make it 1080 wide and 1920 high. So it's gonna be a vertical video and our phone will fit in here really nicely. And now that we have those new speech bubbles, we could do this. We could simulate a little conversation. Okay, so we just need to do a little fiddling here. Let's make the timing really fast here. So one second drawing of each of these little items. Time at the end of our scene. And let's take a look. So that's a fun way to use speech bubbles to simulate a phone conversation. Okay, let's do one more. Back to props. And let's do a little animation here. Let me build a scene real quick. So I'm having Philip here scratching his head and he's gonna say something. And what I want to have happen is I want this speech bubble to start out really small and then grow like so, okay? Whoop. Like that, that's the effect I'm going for. So what I wanna do is make my first scene here and then duplicate it. So right click, duplicate. I don't want this uh, speech bubble just yet, so I'm going to delete it. And I'm fine with drawing Philip on. Now, I do not want him to swipe away, so I'm going to go to scene settings and I'm going to turn the exit animation to none. Click apply. I'm going to go to scene two and I'm going to do the same thing. And You'll notice, so I've got scene one, and then scene two, this appears. And that's what I want. And I don't want it to draw on, I want it to pop on. And same with Phil, I want him at zero drawing, because I don't want him to draw on, disappear, and then draw on again. I want him just to stay steady. So I'm turning his duration to zero, and then this little guy, I'll put it about there, and I want that to be zero as well. I don't want it drying on. And now I have this little tiny scene, and I'm going to right click and duplicate it, and make sure I'm on my third version here. I'm gonna take my thought bubble, I'm just gonna make it a little larger and move it up, and then I'm gonna Repeat the process, so right click and duplicate, and then make it a little larger, and move it up, do the same thing, and then one more time. This will be our last one. Now this is gonna be a very, it's gonna be kind of jumpy because we're limited here to a half second between scenes. So it's not gonna be the world's smoothest animation, but it'll be fun, okay? Now, let's add some text. Who knows, we're just gonna pretend this is what he's thinking. <laughs> All right. And let's add a little time at the very end of this scene. And I think it's fine, we'll have the hand draw on the text. So let's take a look at that. go. I hope this gives you some ideas for using speech bubbles in your doodly whiteboard videos. As always, feel free to experiment and have fun. Thanks for watching.